welcome and thanks for joining everybody. Um, we are almost the end of the year, so congratulations to everybody on almost a full, you know, another school year and being a student ambassador. Uh, we are so grateful for all of you to be a part of the program and I'm just happy to have you, you know, be a part of it. Um, I think we are going to go through some just program statistics and a quick recognition of some of the seniors, but we definitely want to, you know, hear from all of you too that are on the Zoom today. And if you have any questions or feedback for us, um, because I think we'll talk about it more during the ceremony here, we won't keep you too long, but we do want to, you know, look at, you know, kind of revamping the program and just um, really seeing what we can do to um, keep you all engaged and keep all of the juniors part of the program next year. Um, so uh, again, welcome to the ceremony. It will be short. We won't keep you too long. We know everybody's busy, but um, I'm going to give it to Tanya right now um, to talk about some of the amazing stats um, that happened this year. So go ahead, Tanya. Awesome. Thanks, Lauren. Uh, so as Lauren said, we're super happy with this group. Uh, we had 43 students enrolled in the program this year. Um, two of them were actually returners from last year. So we're uh, glad that they were here to be with us. Um, we had 14 high schools participate. Um, of those 14, three of them were brand new schools, which were the Bloom Trail High School, Simeon, and Mabonzi Valley High Schools. So we're definitely happy to see the program expanding to different high schools um, in Will County. Uh, we also had a voter registration event held at Lincoln Way East uh, by our student ambassadors, Janie Clifton and Brandon Gelberg. Uh, we were able to register 20 students um, at their school. Um, so we're very excited about that. Um, we also had a couple of our student uh, ambassadors serve as election judges for not only this past election that we had on April 4th, but also for the general election. And I do see a couple of you on this call, um, like Michaela and Kaylin and Will. Uh, we also had uh, uh, Kaylin was actually serving as an early voting worker as well for both elections. Um, we had field techs um, as well. And then we also had Anne Marie, who's on the call. She was actually one of our election night workers uh, for the general election in November. So definitely different experiences everyone was able to get. And then we did have an intern um, during the fall. Uh, he was able to come in for a couple of days to help out our office with planning the general election. And then for the first time, we had two of our student ambassadors, which I do see Will on here, and also Brayden, who were actually uh, came out during our central count. That's when we um, have our judges process ballots uh, from vote by mail. They get processed into our tabulators to get counted. So they were able to assist us that day with feeling ballots through those machines. So definitely everyone had a great round uh, of experience about the election process. And hopefully you learned a little bit something more. Um, and with that, those are pretty much our statistics for this year. So pretty impressive for the group. Yeah, definitely. It was really cool. I mean, it's always really cool when we have election judges and field tax and then central count too. I mean, that's such an interesting process for people and something that like people wonder how that process works and everything. So for, um, you know, our students to be able to, to be there and help with that process, it's great. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so at this point, we kind of do want to open it up to ambassadors. Um, is there any comments, anything that you really like to uh, really like doing during this uh, program year? Anything that you feel like we should improve for the next time? I liked how the meetings were online at times. Uh -huh. um, I felt like it was a lot easier to get to, especially for me. I'm about 45 minutes away from the office. Um, the first meeting it was, I was able to like get there and come, but it's a bit easier with my schedule to be able to join online and kind of get updates and talk about it that way, especially if it's only a half hour meeting, because mm -hmm. it turns from half hour to like an hour and a half if doing it the other, or more, but yeah. Perfect. Good feedback. Thanks. What about anyone who was working as an election judge, uh, early voting worker, anything like that? How was your experience? Um, I worked as an election judge um, last year and uh, the whole experience was really, you know, like educational. 
Um, I really didn't know beforehand how the whole process worked. So I'm really glad I got this opportunity to do it. Awesome. Any other feedback or comments before we move on? Yeah, I did the election night working and I really liked it because it was very educational and it showed the the process of like all the votes and how it like gets done by a lot of people's effort. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a big process from beginning to end, right, Lauren? Yeah. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, you know, that, I mean, it takes so much work every election. So it's just really great for people to see everything that goes into it, you know, and like the more everybody knows about the process, um, you know, you can all kind of the election judges, you know, you can spread the word and, you know, the people that work central count, you know, you're able to talk about how that process works and kind of, you know, let people know. So there is more, um, you know, trust around elections and how the process works. So we're grateful for all of you. <laughs> I think if there's no more comments or suggestions, I think we'll move on to our next part of the program, uh, which Lauren uh, is going to recognize our seniors who are graduating this year. Yeah. So I'm, I don't, not everybody's on, obviously, but we'll go ahead and read the names. Um, we'll go through pretty quickly. We have quite a few. Um, so from, from Bloom Trail High School, we have Amber Benedict. I see that you're on. Thanks, Amber, for being a part of the program and good luck in your future endeavors. Um, from Bolingbrook High School, we have Kennedy Thomas. Um, Joliet Central High School, we have Pedro Santana. Joliet West High School, we have quite a few people. Um, Anaya Crowder, Reagan Doris, Isabella Gorley, um, Edwin Huelpa, who is a senior and is going to the Illinois Institute of Technology for Computer Science. Hi, congratulations. Thanks for being a part of the program and good luck in the future. Stay in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, Destiny McNair, Owen Salerno, Aranza Santiago, Tania Taylor, going to Xavier University of Louisiana for chemistry. Um, let's see here. We've got um, from Lockport Township, Maya Julian Hernandez um, from Nook. From Manuka Community High School, we have Kendall Edelman, Niqua Valley High School, we have Alan Knight and Madeline Ortega. And let's see, from Plainfield South, we have Aaron Davis, Oriana D. Landazuri, Josephine Dunmore, Naomi Jimenez, Alyssa Kriz, Nora Signor, Brian Sorg, Emily Workowski, and Anna Wittenkeller. And from Wabanzi Valley, we have Sindhu Tiwari. And I think that's it. So um, if I missed you and you're on the screen, I don't think I did, but um, you know, good luck to everyone. And um, we always tell our seniors to make sure they stay in touch and you know, let us know how everything's going. And if they you know, need anything or wanna come back and, and help on their breaks and in the summer, we would love to have you. Um, and to our juniors, I mean, we have a lot of juniors still here and we want to, to make sure you're going to come back and be part of the program. We're so excited, you know, to have you, you're all really engaged. And um, so we really hope that you'll, that you'll come back and be part of the program next year as well. I don't know, Tanya, if you want to um, talk about anything else and. Sure. So we kind of hinted a little bit earlier about, um, next year. Uh, so definitely want to make sure our juniors who are in the program this year, we hope that you do come back next year. Uh, we are actually looking into revamping the program. Um, so definitely if you are a junior, we'd love to hear your uh, feedback. So we know um, what are some things you want us to kind of work on for the revamp. Uh, during the summer, uh, we'll be sending out um, what that revamp will look like and then invite you back to the program for next year. Um, so that Definitely, you have my contact information. Um, we may possibly reach out to you as well to see if there's a day you want to you guys want to come in. We can have a discussion just to get your feedback as well of uh, things that you like to see. 
And then we're hoping to continue expanding the program to increase the voter registration at your schools, um, make sure like students know that there are definitely opportunities out there for student election judges. Um, so you do have that hands, um, hands-on experience of what the process looks like from beginning to end, the behind the scenes as Anne-Marie kind of pointed out, uh, like uh, from election day, seeing all that good process. So definitely, um, and then congratulations to our seniors who are graduating as well. Um, and then for our seniors, we do have, in the future, sometimes we do have opportunities. I know we do have um, one of our employees currently, uh, she started off as a student ambassador for an, our inaugural year. So definitely anything can happen in the future. So always keep us in touch. Um, I think that's it from my end, Lauren. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, we said we wouldn't keep you for too long. So does anybody else have any other questions or comments or any feedback for us? No. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of your the, your year and any final exams and have fun at all of the end of school year events and stay safe. And please make sure to reach out to us with any questions or anything you guys, you know, may need. And we're looking forward to, to next year and hopefully seeing all of you back. So thank you so much for being a part of the program and we'll hopefully see you again soon. Okay. Thank you. No. <laughs>